Okay, we're going to start off a new tutorial, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a pretty simple low poly robot, as you can see here. Um, this tutorial is going to go ahead and teach you about a lot of the basic modeling tools in Maya and how to line things up in 3D. So, you know, we might not do it exactly like this, but let's go ahead and get started. In this video, let's go ahead and create the, the head, the eyes, you know, the mouth. Let's go ahead and do that stuff. All right, so the first thing we want to do is, if you haven't done so, open Maya. The next thing you want to do is hit your space bar. Just tap it. That'll bring up, as you see, your, your four view, top, front, side of perspective. We're going to use this a lot. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to create. Let's see what shape that is. We'll do that with a cube. Create polygon primitive cube. And you'll notice it'll show up right here. Now what we're going to do, we're, we're going to uh, hit spacebar, go to this 3D view. We're going to bring it up. And we need to round this thing out a bit. If you notice on this image, it's a little bit rounded. It's not very round, but it definitely has a little bit of roundness to it. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to do this, and we're going to go ahead and click here. If this isn't open, another way you could open this is you could hit Control A on your keyboard twice, and then open up this thing here. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to these three things, and we're going to put in five. Uh, it's too many. Let's try three. That's good. Okay. Now what we'll do here is we'll go to Spacebar. We'll go ahead and go over to Top View, hit Spacebar again. And again, what we want to do is we want to try to get something like this. So we're going to go ahead and go to Vertex, and we're going to bring these out. And that, that'll do it, but we really don't want anything too crazy. And then, take one more look. Okay. So we can kind of round the sides out here, round the sides out here, and we can bring the this forward just a little bit. This is kind of flat on, on the guy here. Okay, so here's a trick. You'll notice that this isn't symmetrical now, this, which isn't good. So what we want to do is we want to go to Create, or Mesh Tools, and then Insert Edge Loop Tool. We're going to click here. Whoops, we don't want to do that. I, I have to reset my tool. Okay, and go ahead and Put it right there. So that's good. We go to object. We we notice we have a split ring. That's what we just made. Um, it just gives you some information about about what it is. You know, your your movement around. So that's that's good. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to face mode. We're going to delete half. Let's actually delete this half. So now we have all this hard work, we have half a face. What we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to go to Edit, Duplicate Special Option. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click Instance. Okay, And we're going to go to Scale X here. This is Scale X, Y, Z. We'll go to Scale X and put negative 1, and then Duplicate Special. Now you'll notice that there's a little gap here, so we have to fix something. So we can just take it. You know, move it, move it in a little bit. Okay, now why did I do that? Now when I go to Vertex, watch what happens. They move in a symmetrical way, so we don't have to worry about anything. Okay, so let's hit Spacebar and go to Front View. And let's add some, some roundness to this. Again, we're going to kind of take our own liberty in this. We're not going to make it exactly like the one we see. All right. Let's go to Vertex. Check these out. Let's go to the bottom and highlight. Again, um, we learned about component mode the other day. So just know that when I right-click, there's all these different components I could use to modify this polygon. Vertex happens to be a pretty useful one, so it looks cool. 
looks good. And let's go back to the picture. You'll notice that it has a little kind of a beveled edge on top. So let's go ahead and make that. So we're going to go ahead and go to face mode. And we're going to hit Control E on our keyboard. And what that does, that's the extrude tool. Okay. Now we're going to hit the scale tool right here. And we're just going to scale this in a little. And let's move it over. Now you'll notice that we're going to end up with a face in the middle here, right? We don't want that. So we're going to go to face and we're going to get rid of that. Because later on, what we could do it now is we're going to combine these. So if we go to vertex mode, and what we could do is this. This is a little tricky, but click them. And you can go to Edit Mesh Merge. Yeah, it's not going to work. We can do that later. It's okay. Hold Shift and just bring these in. Not a big deal. Again, we can fix that later. We're going to extrude it up now. Control E. We're going to hit our Move tool. We're going to bring it up, and we're going to hit Control E again. Hit our Move tool, and we could scale that in a little. And again, what we want to do is we want to go to Face and make sure you get rid of these interfaces. There should be none of these interfaces here. All right. I'm going to do something. I'm going to take this object, hit W move it out. I'm going to go to vertex mode. I'm going to highlight all these. And I'm going to take my scale to make sure you have all of them. Don't leave any out. It's important. Go to face mode uh, first, actually. Get rid of those. Can't have interfaces. If you have interfaces and you go to smooth it, it'll look really strange. So we're going to try to avoid that. Go to your scale tool. Go ahead and scale this flat. Okay. Now we can take this object and we can move it in. And you'll notice that it's good now. Now if you'll notice in the picture, the top of this thing is flat, right? The top of mine is not flat, so let's fix it. The way we do this is we're going to go to face mode, select all these faces. We're going to use that scale tool again. And we're going to go ahead and scale it flat. Okay, now it looks pretty good. I like that. It looks nice. All right. Let's see what else we can do in this video. Let's go ahead and put in the eyes and the mouth. So if you notice, this is a, a pipe. You could use a pipe and then you could duplicate it. I'll, I'll explain. Or a cylinder. It doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and use a cylinder. Now, this thing looks really smooth. We don't want it to be smooth. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to object mode. If you don't have this window open, go ahead and click the button. Okay, go to your channel box, open it. And for our subdivision axis, we're going to put 8. And you'll notice that all of a sudden, it's not smooth. We're going to move this down. And we're going to go to rotate X and put 90. Again, this is called the history node. I could uh, click on the word. I could come into my viewport and hold down my mouse wheel. You'll notice when you hold down the mouse wheel, an arrow appears, and we can drag left and right. All right. So we're going to hit space bar, and we're going to shrink this thing. Hit W. I'm working in the side view right now. Bring it up. Let's go ahead and go to front view, which is here. Obviously, it's much too big. So let's go ahead and shrink this thing way down. Let's go ahead and give an idea. Okay, so that's about there. Maybe a little bit more. We could have the eye hanging off a little if we want. Okay, so all we're going to do here is we're going to hit Control D. Uh, Control D is duplicate, obviously. And we're going to grab it and move it over. And that looks kind of cool. I like that. I guess we can make it a little bit smaller. Go ahead and delete that. Control D. 
hit W and move it over. All right. Take one a little bit higher, give the robot a little bit of character. Now you'll notice that in the picture, there's a, an inset here. We're going to go ahead and create that. It's pretty easy to make. Go to face mode, just hit shift. Well, I'm just clicking and shifting while I do this. And hit control E. Grab this tool, bring it down. Okay, and we're going to hit control E again. Hit W and bring it in like that. Okay, let's get rid of that. Whoops. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one. I really don't want to do that again. Control D, W, and move it over. So, pretty cool. Looks nice. Um, let's go ahead and make the mouth. Just take a look at the mouth real quick. Um, it's basically like a cylinder with a flat edge. So, that's what we're going to make. We're going to, go to create polygon primitive cylinder. Okay, and what we're going to do here is we're going to go hit our space bar. Go to our top view. So let's make that one top if it isn't. The way I could do that is hold down space bar, click the Maya, and then I could go to these and you know click my camera there. I want top though. Go to vertex. Let me just see this. Okay, so the top is flat. Let's go about down to here and grab my scale tool. Scale. It's a really neat tool. There's a lot you could do. You could. This is so useful in so many different ways. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to front view. All right, let's go ahead and put 90 here. Now, obviously, this is much too big, so go ahead and shrink it down. Shrink it down this way. It's still too big. It's covering the eyes here. We don't want that. Bring it down. Oops. All right, let's go to perspective and see how this looks. Pretty cool. All right, looks like we have the whole head done. We could give it some color. Real quick, right click, assign new material. I'm going to give it a blend. And we're going to take this arrow up here. Just keep hitting and go to blend one, color. Give it like a little blue. All right. And then the inside of this is white. So we're going to go to face mode, hold shift, select this stuff, right click, assign new material. Uh, that'll also be a blend. And we're going to drag this right, left, right. It'll be nice and white, the color you're looking for. Let's go ahead and do the same thing here, face. Now I know that's blend too, that color. So I'm just going to right click, hold right click. Go to Assign Existing Material. I'm holding down my right mouse button here. And I'm going to go to Blend 2. There you go. And let's do the same thing with the mouth. I first want to hit Control E. Scale it down. Control E. Hit W. Bring it in. Just a little. Now I'm going to go ahead and assign existing material, and that was blend two. And right click, assign existing material, blend one, and there we go. That's uh, so far so good. So that'll end that tutorial. Um, what we did is we basically went over how to make a smooth polygon uh, rougher. We went over how to go in the history node and change things around, how to manipulate the shape of a polygon using its component mode, and how to extrude. So we did a lot on this video. In the next video, we'll go ahead and we'll complete the robot, or at least uh, part of the robot.